Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about the uh, EC-135 Yaw Servo Actuator. The maintenance manual also calls it the Tail Rotor Actuator. So if you've got the 1,000 hour 12 month or whatever you're coming up, if you got this inspection, you need to take a look at this Yaw Servo Actuator first thing. Because uh, our fleet is getting a lot older and uh, maybe it used to pass when the aircraft was new, but it's it's not passing anymore. I've changed at least four or five of these in the last 12 months. So the maintenance manual says to inspect the Fenestron actuator for leakage. So if you see any hydraulic fluid up there, clean it up, do the leakage check according to the hydraulic section. But the main reason these things fail from what I found is this input lever. So you gotta inspect the input lever for play, impermissible play is what it says. And it wants you to do a bunch of things, but mainly if you can go up to the lever and you can move it up and down, and if you can get a dial indicator on there, and if it's more than 35 thousandths of an inch, uh, you need a new one, okay? I think the manual says you could change the input lever. I've never changed the lever. I've always changed the actuator. Most of the ones I've changed, they're old. They're like 6,000 hours, 15 years old, stuff like that. So if you need to check the play, I put the dial indicator uh, either here or I put it here. But once you put the dial indicator on there, get the push pull gauge, push it down 1.1, uh, what's it, 1.1 pounds, 5 newtons. Set your dial indicator to zero, push it up 1.1 pounds, and see what you get. Then want it disconnected from the SEMA or the input control. This one here shows 50 thousandths of an inch play, which is out of limits. The limit's 35 thousandths. Also, it depends on where the input lever is positioned. So if we go back to the maintenance manual, it has a lot of things in this maintenance manual that you need to look at, okay? Inspect the Fenestron actuator for cracks, mechanical damage and corrosion, and a bunch of other stuff. But it doesn't ever talk about corrosion on these bearings here. It does want you to check all of these bearings for play but it never says anything about corrosion. So they want you to look at the spherical bearings on the top and the bottom, and they want you to look at the connecting rod bearings. The thing is, the bottom bearing on this actuator here is uh, rusted to hell. If the only problem with your servo is you have some corrosion on this lower bearing here, and there's no play, then cool. Do what you gotta do, man. But honestly, if you see something like this, you might replace it. If you're going to replace a servo, you're going to need a couple O-rings and you're going to need this tab washer. If you look in the IPC for the tail rotor actuator, they'll give you one O-ring. The other O-ring is in the tail rotor gearbox assembly or tail gearbox assembly. It's this little tiny O-ring. It's number 60 on this picture. And if you pull off the actuator and you look inside of the gearbox, there's an O-ring in there. You're going to need to change that if you're doing this job especially if your machine has like 6,000 hours, okay? The part number for the big O-ring is M83461-1-222. And the part number for the little O-ring is a little bit more complicated. It gives you three part numbers, but the most recent one is M83248-1-010. You can also do an AS3209-010, all right? If this helicopter comes to you and they want you to do this inspection, this is probably one of the first things you need to look at because uh, it might take a little bit of time to get this yaw servo actuator. And if you see it leaking or if you see all that corrosion on that lower bearing or something like that, and it's your aircraft, maybe you should go ahead and order it so that when it goes to a maintenance shop, you don't have to order it AOG and then we lose all of our discount. Okay, I don't know what the discount is, but I'd imagine it's thousands of dollars. Just a heads up, just trying to help you guys out. One other thing you want to look at, the input link that's attached to the input lever. If you see right here, there's some mud or some gray area. Like, not a gray area, but there's gray dust looking stuff. That means that the input lever is wearing on the flange of the Yaw Servo. Again, just a quick video on the Yaw Servo Actuator on an EC-135. I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it, and I uh, hope you found some value in it. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.